Hi ladies and gentlemen and welcome to IT Snippets. Today I'm going to show you how to configure WDS, Windows Deployment Services, on Windows Server 2012. So let's get started. First thing you have to do obviously once you've logged into your Server 2012 is go to Tools, Windows Deployment Services, select your server, just make that full screen. As you can see, it says the server is not configured. To configure the server, right click the server and click configure. So we'll do that just now. Right click, configure server. It says you can use the wizard to configure Windows deployment services. Once the server is configured, you'll need to add at least one boot image and one install image to the server before you're able to install an operating system. Before you begin, ensure the following requirements are met. The server is a member of Active Directory Domain Services, ADDS domain or a domain controller for the ADDS domain. If the server supports standalone mode, it can be configured without having a dependency on Active Directory. There's an active DHCP server on the network. This is because Windows Deployment Services uses pre-boot execution environment, PXE, which relies on DHCP for IP addressing. There's an active DNS server on your network and the server is an NTFS file system partition on which to store the images. To continue, click Next. I'm just going to click Next. I want to use an integrated one with Active Directory. You may have to use a standalone server, that's entirely up to you, depending on your actual own home network setup. In this case, I'm going with integrated one, so I'm clicking Next. The remote installation folder will contain boot images, install images, pixie boot files, and the Windows Deployment Services Master Tools choose a partition that is large enough to hold all of the images that you have. The partition must be an TFS partition and should not be on the system partition. So it's wanting to use SQL and slash remote install, but I'm going to change that by clicking browse. So I'm going to go to this PC, new volume Z, shares, and pull. And inside pull, I'm going to make a new folder called remote install. Done. Select remote install and click OK. Now obviously this will be different depending on where you wish to install it on your own system. Click next. You can use the settings to define which client computers and servers will respond to. Known clients are the clients that have been pre-staged. When the physical computer performs the Pixie Boot, the operating system will be installed based on the settings that you have defined. So it says select on the following. Do not respond to any clients. Respond only to known clients. Respond to all clients and computers. Required administrative approval for unknown computers. You can check that box. If not, I, I'm not really interested. If they've got on my network and they want to install a Windows image, it's, it's negligible, to be honest. So I'm okay with that. I'm just going to click Next. It says you've successfully configured Windows Deployment Services. To modify any of the server settings, right-click Server and click Properties. Now you've configured the server, you'll need to add images. These images include a boot image, which is a bootable environment you want to show about the computer into and install image which operating system manages you deploy to add image to the wizard closes select the following checkbox to add image at a later time right click on install images or boot images loading the snap in so i'm just going to try and install one just now so i'm going to click finish and it'll pass through installation of the dvd if you don't know how to get yourself a windows image you can follow my previous tutorials about legally downloading a version of windows from microsoft's website so I've copied the image across, so I'm just going to click on Browse. It's on my Z drive. And share. And I called it Windows 2 H20 install. Select that. And click OK. And then click Next. I'll give it a good name. I'll call it Windows 10. Click next. Tell me it will be one image and one boot image. The path to it. Click next. And it's now adding the image to the server. Select the image was successfully added to the server. Click finish. Now if I go up here, you'll see that there's a little play icon next to the server. And I can expand it. And it shows me my Windows 10 image under the install image. There's probably also one under the boot image runs as well. And there we go. We now have an image loaded onto our WDS deployment server. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike too.
If you get feedback in this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.